Liberty Center looking to be foes, not foils in this one. And they get started in a hurry. Zane Sider going up the right side here early, midway through the first quarter rather, putting them in the red zone. Sider getting it done with his legs and then let Matthew Orr get it done with his legs. He pushes in for the touchdown. First score of the night for Liberty Center. They're on top seven to nothing. More action now from Liberty Center. This is Zider going the right side now. And he has some nice blocks. Picks up 25 yards, gets across midfield to the 46. You're going to see a theme develop throughout this, this highlight package. It's Matthew Orr then next time. On a fourth and three, he gets enough for the first down. That puts him first and goal. And then guess who? It's Zider. Again, right up the gut for the touchdown. Liberty Center establishing dominance early in this one. 14 to nothing, Tigers on top early or late in the second quarter. Moving to the third quarter now. Second verse, same as the first. Matthew Orr dragging guys with him as he picks up another tough first down. And then Orr going to pick up the touchdown on this carry, making it 21 to nothing. Offense just not able to get going tonight for Coldwater. Marcel Blazingame was a gamer, but just didn't have a lot of time to throw. He throws this pass, and it's Colton Cruz picking this one up, makes a guy miss, and then it's Cruz control all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. 28 0 Liberty Center on this one. And then to cap it off, or one more time into the end zone late in the game, 34 to nothing. Liberty Center, a running clock in Lima tonight as the Tigers. Shut out the Coldwater Cavaliers 34 to nothing. This game on in just about 12 minutes right here on WTLW. Cruz with 101 yards on 18 carries in addition to the pick six. Matthew Orr, 97 yards, 21 carries and three touchdowns. And you see the yardage there, the big deal. 327 yards total for the Tigers. Coldwater held to just 63 yards. A lot of dominance at the line. And Miles Holiday has more on that from Lima. Tanner Klein, the center for the offensive line. Now, Tanner, you're going to be our dynamic dude at WSN and Mini Helmet. You get that uh, for the player of the game. However, you have to share it with the offensive line. Okay. Is that okay? Absolutely. Uh, all right. So Tanner's going to share it with the offensive line. You're going to represent them. You guys are our dynamic dude. Tanner, uh, over 300 yards rushing. How are you guys able to get that done against a really good defense tonight? Uh, really, we just play as a team, and uh, we're all on the same page, and it all starts at practice, and uh, the scout team really gave us a good look this week, and uh, I think they really prepped us this week. Yeah, running the football is what you guys do best. The five guys up front work so well. As a center, how's it important for you to communicate to the guys? Oh, absolutely, and the, the boys across from me, they, uh, they make it really easy because they communicate right back, so it's really easy on me. This was a game that was built up between two teams with great tradition. A lot of talk about the great tradition at Coldwater. Well, how about your tradition at Liberty Center? It, it feels like it is a, something that you guys really wanted to step forward and show that, hey, there was two great programs here tonight. Absolutely. Cold, Coldwater was a great program, and Liberty Center is built on team first, so I think that really helped us out this week. Great job tonight. How good does it feel to keep moving forward? Oh, it feels great, especially with the brothers beside me. Congratulations. Good luck. Make sure you share that mini helmet now, okay? Absolutely. All right. Our dynamic dude of the night, Tanner Klein.